Hello everyone, welcome back to Tea Time Crochet. Um, this week there's not going to be a tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you how to wet block um, your crochet item. I have a shawl here today. So basically what you're going to need is you're going to need some sort of mat or um, they make those foam blocks for blocking. Those foam squares that you put together. They also may have them in like the flooring section of like the hardware store. I'm not quite sure if Walmart sells them, but um, they're normally just squares that kind of mesh together like a puzzle piece. But for me, um, I have this giant cutting mat and that's basically all I have to use. So I, you know, I make do. Um, if the project is bigger than what the the size of the mat is, I usually add a towel and that works okay. Um, the other thing you're going to need is a spray bottle and you're going to need some sort of pins. I have T-pins that I'm going to use. So um, you're going to need, you know, a bunch of those. I have a lot of Pico edges here so I'm going to need quite a bit. Hopefully I won't run out. But um, basically what we're going to do is we're just going to lay it as flat as we can get it and we're going to pin the edges that we want to be a little more crisper and as we do that we're going to wet it and then you just leave it to dry. Um, I'm hoping to get a steam, a, like a garment steamer. Um, that's what I've asked for for our anniversary this year so hopefully um, I'll get that and then you know, I'll be able to show you a different way to block your items. But for today, um, we're just going to wet block it. So what you're going to do is you're going to start off by just wetting your item. It doesn't need to be sopping wet, but it does need to be pretty saturated. I normally just go section by section and since I have a lot of picots I want to make sure that I make those pico edges nice and crisp so I'm gonna pin them out And a chopping block or a cutting mat like this, which you can find in like the fabric section of any craft store, works really well because you can pin into it really easily. Um, I actually inherited this from my grandma, so she is not able to do a whole lot of sewing anymore, so she gave it to me. She was a quilter so she invested in one of these big ones but you're just gonna you know pin it in all the areas that you need the definition to show so for mine I want all these picots to be very you know to stick out like they're supposed to so I need to go and I have to put a pin in every one of these picots and I'm gonna try and on this other side, I want to make sure that that line across is nice and straight. So if I see that it's kind of being wavy in places, I can even that out. So that's basically what you do. So um, you're just going to wet it really well. It doesn't need to be, you know, running off the table wet, but it does need to be saturated. And then you're just going to pin it into place. And basically all you do after that is just let it air dry. So 
So just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off all of my uh, little pico edges and everything, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I have all of my edges pinned. I really didn't need to pin a whole lot through here. And the only thing I'll have to do is, after this dries, I'll have to come back and do this corner that's over here that doesn't fit on the table. But I've wet it down um, quite a bit. It's actually pretty damp, so now I'm just going to let that sit and um, dry. It'll probably take overnight. And then I'll be able to complete this other side tomorrow. And then I'll show you what the finished project product looks like when I'm done. Okay, so I've let it completely dry and I went ahead and pulled out all of the pins and um, went ahead and took it off of my mat. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, my points are very sharp and it's nice and flat. All my lines are nice and straight. So that's basically how you wet block something. Um, I just wanted to share it with you. Uh, it's a very important tool when you're working with yarn, whether it be crochet or knit or loom knit or machine knit. Um, any kind of type of project that you're going to be working with yarn, you need to learn how to do this. A good tool to have um, in your toolbox. And pretty much all it takes is water and a place to lay out your um, garment or project and some pins. So... Although, you know, it does take, you know, a 24-hour period that you have to be able to have this laid out. So keep that in mind. Wherever you're going to be doing it, it has to stay there until it dries, which is, you know, usually a day. But um, like I said, I just wanted to share it with you real quick. And thanks for watching. Bye.